We're going on and off the field with San Diego senior Alex Floresca. Alex, the lone senior on this Toreros men's basketball team. Last year, there were a whole group of seniors, and now you're kind of in that leadership role. What's it been like for you? It's been great. I mean, it's, uh, it's fun helping these young guys um, experience the WCC and how competitive it is day in and day out, and using my experience um, my past four years here and helping them grow and helping our culture grow as a team. And you talk about all this growth. When you first started, the Toreros were kind of in a rebuild, and now each of the last two years you've won at least 20 games. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to be part of that process and kind of building a program? It feels great. It feels um, that like all of our hard work over the past couple of years has really paid off um, day in and day out, just um, keeping that grind mentality and um, having the guys come in here and just work really has um, paid off, and as you can see. Last year certainly paid off. You guys made a nice run towards the end of the season, into the WCC semifinals, and then into the NIT. What was that like hear hearing your name called for the, in the postseason? Oh, it was great. It showed how our constant work has really paid off and just the grind. Um, but yeah, once we, once we heard our name being called for the NIT, it was, it was very exciting as a team, and um, yeah, we just want more from it. As you all can see, he's a pretty big guy. <laughs> I think it's fair to say you're the enforcer on this team, so can you show us a couple things in the paint? Definitely. All right, let's do it. I'm here with my teammates Jared and James, and I'm about to show you how to rebound. When the ball is shot, you're going to find your man and hit him. Hit him and turn and see the rim to where the ball comes off. And when the ball comes off, you want to go get his highest point Snatch it to your chest and look for your guard for an outlet. All right, Alex, you showed us how to rebound, and luckily I didn't have to go up against you because no one wants to see that, but you want to show us something off the field that you're pretty good at, too? Definitely. My architecture studio is right down the street. Let's do it. All right, Alex, you showed us what you got on the court. Now we're here off the court in the architecture studio here at USD. You're an architecture major. Correct. How did you first get involved in that? Um, I've always had a passion for design since I was um, young. My mom owns a marketing agency in, back in St. Louis at home, and my dad's a creative director as well. And so design and art have always kind of been in my family. And so growing up, I've always loved drawing and um, kind of creating, so architecture was um, just a tool and outlet for that um, coming into college. It's a really demanding major. Um, basketball is also really demanding. You, you also said that you're going to be the first architecture major in USD men's basketball history. How do you balance that? Time management, I mean, it's definitely taught me um, to value every, kind of every hour in the day, um, balancing um, practice, um, weights, all that stuff that goes into practice every day, as well as studio time and make sure I'm meeting my deadlines for studio projects. So this is part of my thesis project, was to create a affordable housing unit that also integrated with the site of Karma Valley in San Diego. On these first levels, I have public entertainment and restaurants and stuff like that. On the second level, I have more of a fitness aspect of it with a full gym, basketball court, laundry mat, and stuff like that. And then on the third and fourth level, I have housing, sustainable like urban gardens and rooftop space, stuff like that. Combining architecture with college athletics, I think would be a very, very cool job and something that's close to my heart. Been to thousands of facilities, seeing how student athletes interact with the space how that space is utilized um, on a daily basis is, I think, very important. 